A quick video on a reflex type direct conversion receiver. It's an unusual circuit because the transistor RF oscillator also amplifies audio. I'm not going to demonstrate this receiver as the received volume is very low and there's some shortcomings that I'll discuss later. Nevertheless, the receiver does allow reception of amateur signals on this piezo transducer earpiece. You could use it as the basis as a very crude one transistor CW transceiver, with the transistor also being the transmitter. Anyway, I'll go through this first of all as a receiver. Incoming signals come through the antenna socket here. The front end is an RF choke, 4.7 microhenries, which resonates with 100 picofarad for 7 megahertz. Round over the RF choke is four turns of enameled copper wire. That's the primary connection going to the antenna. The incoming signal, now filtered to be 7 MHz only, comes into this germanium diode, which functions as a mixer. That's the detector. Crude, not as good as a balanced detector, and in areas where you're near AM broadcast stations, you may hear breakthrough from local signals. Anyway, for this to detect SSB, you need a signal on 7 MHz coming from the local oscillator, which is this transistor here. You could use a crystal, but I'm using a ceramic resonator on 7.2 MHz. The variable capacitor here allows you to vary the frequency to cover a section of the 7 MHz band. This local oscillator is just a very simple, straightforward one transistor circuit using a general purpose NPN transistor. There's a few other components around that you'll see. I'll describe them and their function a bit later on. Now that we've got the incoming SSB or CW signal mixing with the local oscillator signal, our difference is in the audio range, which is then fed down here, back into the base of the same transistor we used for the local oscillator. The RF choke here is to separate the audio coming in from the RF because there's also RF floating around and the transistor does double duty as an audio amplifier. The audio output from that is tapped off, fed through another RF choke to provide some isolation and that goes straight into some earphones. You could use high impedance headphones like you're using on a crystal set a crystal earpiece, though you may need a resistor, say 470k across it. Or, just for this test, I used a cheap piezo transducer. The main problem with the piezo transducer is its audio frequency response isn't so good at the lows. So, you can hear that signals are there, but if it's SSB, you can't necessarily understand them very well. But for CW, it would be okay. The benefit of this reflexing arrangement is that the one transistor does two functions. One to operate as your local oscillator at an RF frequency and secondly to operate as an audio amplifier to boost the very low output from the mixer stage you see here. This circuit does a lot with one transistor. However, people sometimes confuse that with simplicity. If you want to build simple radio circuits that are likely to work first time, then something like this is not necessarily the best circuit to build. You'd be better off building something with more transistors so that each transistor can do one function only and be easier to troubleshoot. Still, I thought it was worth presenting this circuit as a novelty. There's other things you could do, 
especially if you're willing to introduce another transistor. For instance, you could reconfigure the circuit so that this transistor stage becomes just the local oscillator and your second transistor could then be the one that does two things. In other words, the reflexing arrangement. That could be an amplifier that amplifies RF between the antenna and the diode detector and provides a bit of extra gain as well as amplifying audio. That stage would have a similar arrangement to this where you've got audio being fed back via the RF choke and then the audio amplified being taken off and fed to the earphones. My guess is that arrangement would produce better results than the limited results with this, not least because you're amplifying at both RF and audio. Another interesting novelty, if you really wanted to, maybe you could use this transistor as a second audio amplifier. Then you'd have the effect of three transistors of amplification with just two. Another possibility, if you wanted to build a one transistor transceiver, is to set up the output so that it's connected to the antenna when you're transmitting. Note though, there will be a significant impedance mismatch unless you have some sort of transformer to transform it down to 50 ohms. Again, you'll get vastly better results if you add more transistors. You could even use your second transistor as a joint audio amplifier stage and RF power amplifier stage for the transmitter. In fact, I wonder if it would be possible to use it for three functions. An RF amp stage for the receiver, an audio amp stage for the receiver, as well as a power amplifier stage for the transmitter. I haven't tried it, it's possible, but again, it's mainly a novelty project. Transistors are so cheap and it's simpler and easier to assist fault finding if you've only got one function per transistor. Having one function per transistor also allows you to optimize component values better and simplifies switching arrangements. And that's important. Bear in mind that a toggle switch might cost $2, $3 or something, whereas a transistor might only cost 20 or 30 cents. So it's actually cheaper to have something that has more transistors and fewer switches than the other way around. You'd build a project like this just to prove that it works. And it might be okay as a novelty receiver. As a transceiver, contacts may be possible, but are likely to be very difficult. Not least due to the low power, the poor frequency agility if you're crystal controlled, and the limited capability of the receiver. Still, it could be a fun project. For beginners, I'm not so sure. A circuit where one transistor does multiple functions is harder to build and troubleshoot than one where it might have a few more transistors but the functions are separate.